Hey everybody, it's Trani Unicorn. So I've got to say, I went to Oasis last night and had a very, very social time at Miss S birthday. I had a video up, of course, about that. Here's the thumbnail below if you want to see and check out that video after. It was phenomenally social. And what I mean by that is everybody was happy to like talk to other people. It wasn't the normal people there to hook up and pick up as much. It was very much like, oh my God, doing and like their room like you know throwing balloons around and like the vibe was incredibly fun and I was very fortunate to meet many fans and one of them actually went and bowed and I didn't know what he was doing so I was like is it going for the handshake I don't know and he starts like bowing down to me and I was like is he's like am I in the presence of Miss Johnny Unicorn and he was from New York and I, I was just so touched like I was just like oh my gosh this is so sweet um and then another few fans and it's funny because sometimes when I look around the room I see the look on someone's face and I know they're a fan because it's a different sort of smile okay and like it's just so fucking interesting because I enjoy it. I enjoy talking to fans. And so when I saw the smile, I knew eventually I'd talk to him because I, I'm pretty sure he, he knew who I was. And then it sometimes it's just the comfort people have, I think, when they when they see me that isn't normally found when you're coming up to a girl, I think is because they know me. And I'm like, yes, I am a friendly girl. Like for the most part, like I have my moments, man. I'm going to get, I'm telling you, I got my moments. Uh, everybody does. But uh, <laughs> luckily I do my own production. <laughs> I will not be doing reality TV anytime soon. Let's put it that way. Um, anyway, so I digress. I'm a little high, not gonna lie. Um, okay, so I wanted to say that I love talking to fans when I'm at Oasis specifically. I want you, if you're a fan, if you see me and you want to say hi, I want you to come up and say hi. All I ask is that you don't cock block me. If my legs are in the air, it's not a good time, right? But if I'm in the pool, if I'm looking around, absolutely come and introduce yourself. Don't touch me right away. But sometimes I'll get comfortable enough to shake your hand or something, but not right away. But yes, come and say you're a fan and I'll, you know what? Every single fan I ask this question to, and if you come prepared with the answer, you're gonna get bonus points, okay? I always ask what videos do you watch? Because let me be honest, I have a lot of content and I love my content. That's why I make my content. I wanna know what parts of my content the person I'm talking to resonates with so that I know how they know me because I have a lot of information out there and for some of them, they only know me as the girl who did the Oasis tour video, right? And so they might not know my whole personal vlog life right so i wouldn't want to just start asking you know saying something about something they don't they don't know so anyways yeah so i always ask that question some of them it's always a kind of a different answer too a lot of them say that they know me from the tour video which is why i remastered it actually because of the change of covid protocols that i was noticing that the you know the video was so well uh, appreciated by the people who were trying to get comfortable with the environment and so when i rewatched it i realized that it was inaccurate in certain ways and uh, i owed them a correction so that the, the video served the right purpose to make them you know fit into the surroundings as they are so i hope you get a chance to check that out i'll put it on the end screen of this video because it is a passion project of mine i have my little video editing stuff in there popping my head in from 2022 being like and hey, this has changed so from the old video so i hope you check it out it's a bit of a passion project as i said um and i just wanted to mention again that when fans come up and say, you're the reason I, I came here, or one fan I met last night said that he watched my tour video like three times, and that's why I did it. I wanted to take the scary out of sex clubs and, and make it a less uh, of a place that you create in your own head and more a place that you can almost see. It's like a, almost like a, like a, a real editor tour video. You're like, okay, all right, all right. That's where I go when I put my shit in the locker. That's going to take a lot of the scary out of it already. Now you just got to worry about seeing a bunch of dick everywhere and you'll be fine. Just saying. Thank you so much. Make sure if you see me at Oasis and you're a fan, you come say hi. I really do want to hear how you resonate with my content. It keeps me motivated to keep creating content and keep this journey of mine illuminated for the world to watch. So, uh, so thank you for your engagement. It means a lot to me. And, and don't think that you don't have an impact on me. You do. I mean, I'm even getting emotional saying it. I wouldn't do it 
for this long, for this, for this revealing, for this vulnerable stuff, I wouldn't do it if, if I didn't have an audience out there that made me feel like it was worthwhile. And so thank you. And every time you come up and say something about it, about my content that you like at the club, or even if you say something to the club staff about, you know, the fact that my videos are the help to help to get you there, that's going to help me. That's going to support my brand, get it seen by more people. So yeah, I just, this is more of a just a thank you video and a heart video. And yes, I definitely did not wear a bra. And I told, I have a blooper reel you're going to have to see because I gave the ladies one job to just like come out and play today. And they're like, they're like camouflaged into the background. So I tried boys. I tried, well, and girls I've tried. Yeah. You know what? 38 now. I was 38 years old when a girl told me that she masturbated to me. I have never had a girl be sexually attracted to me without like me being like knowing that who they are like never and so now it's more than one girl and I'm like I didn't even know that was possible and now now that I dom and I have doming clips where I like dom people I'm getting a lot of excitement about that from people so yeah we'll see so anyways I wanted to share this video with you of course, I gotta do a little plug. If you haven't seen my Amazon storefront yet, you're gonna have to. I've got things like this, which are, uh, I call them just ergonomic pillows that, you know, are fun to stroke if you have ADHD. They just come in interesting shapes. Um, but these are the kind of things that I have on my Amazon storefront. I, whenever I can't sleep at night and I scour Amazon, I put the funniest, creative, most hilarious, unique, one of a kind, usually sexually themed gifts or, or random decor or art or, or statues or anything because I always think about sex. And and so I put it all on my Amazon storefront. And if you want decor like this, uh, you're going to be able to find all those sorts of things there. So that's on trinyunicorn.com. You'll find the link or you can just go straight there at amazon.com slash shop slash trinyunicorn.